Hello students, this is Madhubabu sir. Now I am going to explain basic proportionality theorem. The other name we can call that is Thales theorem. This is the theorem of class 10 for CBSE and state boards also. This is very very important theorem. Now I am going to explain the proof of the basic proportionality theorem. statement if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points then the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio what is the meaning of this one if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle so suppose uh, rough work this one suppose take a triangle and we have to draw a line which is parallel to one side. So I selected this side. For this side, we have to draw one parallel line. So we can draw a parallel line to this line, this one also, this one also, this one also, this is also. We can draw like this. This is also parallel line of one side of a triangle. So in this one, what is the suitable for this theorem? That is if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, these are the all satisfied this condition, but to intersect the other two sides, this is the selected side and remaining two sides of triangles means this one. So these two sides intersected by this parallel line in two distinct, distinct means separate lines, distinct means separate lines. So this is the parallel line of so we should take like this, we should take like this the parallel line of this given one side. So we should not take like this, we should not take like this, we should not take like this. This is at one point parallel line, this is two distinct points. So we should like this, we should draw a line parallel to one side of a triangle. So if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides. Other two sides means these are the other two sides in two distinct. Distinct means separate, separate points. Then the line, this line divides the other two sides in the same ratio. Suppose you take A, B, C as a triangle and D is a parallel line. It means then the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio means ratio AD by DB is equals to AE by EC. So we have to show like this. Now I am going to draw a diagram of this theorem. Take a triangle ABC. and select one side, this is one side, draw a parallel line to this line, that is DE. So this line intersects AB at D, AC at A. Now DE is parallel to BC, this is the given condition. After then we should show we have to prove that the lines divides the other two sides in the same ratio. We have to prove that. So in theorem conditions are there, given condition to prove. Next to any construction is there, we have to construct and proof. So now given, what is given in triangle ABC, DE is parallel to BC. This is the given condition where D and E are the points on AB and AC respectively. Next to prove or RTP. RTP means required to prove or to prove. So RTP required to prove short form. So what we have to find this line is parallel to this side then the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio. Same ratio means AD by DB is equals to AE by EC. Next construction. Now going to write the construction we should learn some points of the basics of triangles. So first step one, some points, point one, 
what is the point one that is triangles are three types according to their angles they are acute angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle right angle triangle so draw in same base this is acute angle triangle this one this is right angle triangle and this is obtuse angled triangle so according to the angles three types acute right obtuse angle triangle so for acute angle triangle altitude height will be inside of the triangle inside of the triangle lies suppose this one is the base then height will be one inside of the triangle and for right angle triangle suppose take this one as base then height will be one side of the right angle triangle for obtuse angle triangles for obtuse angle triangles you are, we should observe carefully for obtuse angle triangles suppose this is the base then height will be outside of the triangle height will be lies outside the triangle so this is the one point so point 2 what is the point 2 we should learn suppose take a triangle abc in triangle abc we should take any side of the side as base suppose you take bc as the side, base of the triangle then height will be ad suppose take ab as the base then height will be c e suppose ac is the base then height will be b f so these are the if different base has a different altitude in for every triangle next important point 3 suppose you take two parallel lines and take base suppose bc as base then take one vertex that is a then abc and with say these are the parallel lines these are the parallel lines take two triangles with the same base abc has a base bc and dbc has a same base so triangle abc triangle dbc lies between same parallels these two triangles lies between same parallels and is having same base and having same base then their areas will be same then the areas will be same any type of triangle not only triangle or parallelograms triangles or rectangles whatever may be if two figures if two figures lies on same base and having same lies between same parallel lines and having same base then areas will be equal same triangles or same parallelograms suppose take like this this is a parallelogram a b c d this is a parallelogram a b e f so these are the two parallelogram having same base and lies between two parallel lines then the areas will be same so area of a b c d parallelogram a b c d is equals to area of parallelogram a b f e a b f e so this is the condition third condition so these three points we use in this proof of this theorem construction draw a line perpendicular to a b from e take E F. So, draw a line perpendicular to A B from E. That is E F. So, draw E F is perpendicular to total line 
segment AB and like that DG DG is perpendicular to AC DG is perpendicular to AC and join CD and BE this is the construction now proof we have to prove that AD by DB where is AD this is AD by DB where is DB this is the DB AE this is AE this is EC so to prove AD by DB take triangle A D E so area of triangle AD A by here ratio is there so that why you take area of AD A by area of this triangle B D E B D E triangle B D E by C area of triangle formula actually area of triangle ABC area of triangle any triangle that is formula is half into base into height half into base into height now in this triangle half into take to prove in the proof AD is there so half into take AD as base take AD as base then what will be the height EF why EF is the in triangle ADE e is the one vertex so from E perpendicular line is EF is perpendicular to AD so that's why if side AD is the base then EF will be the height so half into base into height what is the height EF by come to the area of triangle BDE area of triangle BDE C BDE B D E E is an obtuse angle triangle why suppose we draw like this then it will be the right angle triangle so angle is extended so this is obtuse angle triangle for a, already I explained and point to for obtuse angle triangles height lies outside the base lies outside the base so take DB as the base half into base db take db as the base then height will be lights lies outside the base so ef will be the height so here in this numerator denominator half half same ef ef cancel so ad by db the ratio of area of triangle ad and area of BDE is equal to AD by DB take this one as equation 1 next to come this side again you take AD is the area triangle area of triangle AD by area of triangle where is the EC here so this take the one this one as base so CDE area of triangle half into base into height half into in the right side proof we have to prove AE so in this triangle ADE now you take AE as base AE as base then height will be DG DG is perpendicular to in triangle ADE DG is the perpendicular to AE so DG will be the height similarly half into in triangle CDE take CE as the base CDE is an obtuse angle triangle so height will be lights outside the base so this is the height so DZ here half half will cancel DZ DZ cancel AE by EC take as equation in both in both equations 
we have to prove that here numerator numerator same okay why area of triangle ade ad is the same so here area of triangle ade come to the numerators both equations left side area of triangle ade is equals to area of triangle ade in this both numerators area of triangle ade area of triangle ade same why this is the same figure of triangle so same or common reason is same or common take as equation 3 next left hand side come to the left hand side denominators triangle bde and triangle cde observe that triangle bde and cde these are the parallel lines these are the parallel lines so triangle bde and triangle cde lies between same parallels so write that one triangle bde and triangle cde lies between same parallel parallels d and bc and having same base for these two triangles having same base that is de so lies between same parallels de and bc and having same base de so these two triangles lies between same parallels and same base having same base then their areas will be same so area of triangle bde is equals to area of triangle cde equation 4 so left side you come area of triangle area of triangle same and area of triangle bde and area of triangle cde same why lies between same parallels and having same base so in this equation 1 and 2 left hand sides are equal by using equation 3 and equation 4 so finally you conclude that from equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 and equation 4 here left sides are equal so right hand sides automatically equal so we can conclude that ad by db is equals to ae by ec ae by ec so hence proved this is the proof of this theorem if you like this video please like it and share it to your classmates or friends and subscribe for more videos thank you thank you for watching